Hi, this is A Level Physics, and today we will be discussing a topic from kinematics, <coughs> and the topic belongs to an example of a ball balling several times. What we can do is that we can consider here a ball. It has been asked in the exam several times, and he asks for the velocity time graph, acceleration time graph, displacement time graph of the ball which is bouncing on a hard surface several times. We assume that there is a ball. Uh, let's take the ball over here and it goes over here. It returns and then the next bounce is a bit lower. So the next bounce will be here, just like this. And the next bounce is again lower than the previous one. So that's the next bounce. Now, <coughs> for this, there are several things we must note. One of the things is that the height of every next bounce is less than the previous and the time span after each bounce it decreases. The reason behind this is that whenever the ball is in contact with the surface there is always energy loss as a result of heat etc. and when there is an energy loss the kinetic energy as a result decreases because conservation of energy is maintained when the kinetic energy decreases the velocity also decreases so as a result as a result of the kinetic energy the potential energy decreases so as a whole we can say that the height decreases the velocity decreases and we can say that this whole thing moves on now let's uh, let's first sketch the velocity time graph for this and discuss that during what the velocity time graph will look in which shape. So this is how our velocity time graph would look like for a ball bouncing several times and each time the height decreases. So let's start from this thing. <clears throat> the ball is thrown from rest at velocity is equal to zero. We have shown over here that velocity is equal to zero over here. It moves down towards the ground with constant acceleration that is 9.81 and when it impacts on the ground and changes its direction the velocity as it is a vector quantity it changes its direction at the same time although we can say that this this change in direction would take some milliseconds but over here we are assuming that it takes zero seconds although we can say that it can take a, a bit of a margin of time so over here the direction changes now this is the place where the direction of the ball changes and it turns upwards. Now this is the moment when it rises. When it rises, rises, rises and it reaches its maximum height over here. That's the maximum height. At this maximum height this becomes the velocity becomes zero because as you all know that at the maximum height the maximum uh, the potential energy is maximum and kin uh, kinetic energy is zero so we can simply label this that in this interval it was rising in this interval it was falling and again in this interval it's again falling. It's over here. Now you must realize that after this, this peak, velocity peak is less than this thing. So 
as we know that the height decreases so because of that the velocity decreases as i have told you in the start that kinetic energy also decreases so the velocity also must decrease so the same cycle again repeats it again moves down uh, it, it it again moves uh, down over here this shows that a downward movement and over here the change of direction is shown by this line so again it moves upward with a lower velocity and then again it continues and so on so after this what we can do is discuss the acceleration time graph for this uh, case now for the acceleration time graph we can clearly see the acceleration is constant but what we have to do is that for example in this interval it's falling it's with a constant acceleration this is the constant acceleration but during this impact there would be a surge just like this and the same acceleration continues during the next collision with a uh, hard floor there would again be an impact but with a lower as the energy have decreased so again just like this and again a lower impact so that's it that's how it would continue and that's how the acceleration time graph would look like so now we can sketch the displacement time graph from the point it was released we can assume that the displacement is zero and this is the point so what we can say is that the displacement increases like this the velocity is uniform so that the velocity increases and at this point the velocity is zero so we can draw a, a minimum point over here so just like this and again over here this displacement would be lesser because it is a shorter interval so we can draw it like this so that's how our displacement time graph would look like so that's a very popular question for a level physics uh, it is being asked several times in paper one in paper two and uh, it is a very favorite questions of the examiners to be asked in the exams and i hope you have understood this concept and thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel for more informative videos thank you